Without further ado, I know that you guys don't want to listen to me, but um, I'm going to pass you over to beautiful Lisa Wilcoxon, my very dear friend. Welcome. Thank you. That's I love you. Is that better? I love you. <laughs> Hello everyone. I just truly couldn't be more honored to be here and hello everyone on Zoom. Um, usually I'm the one trying to help let the people in the waiting room on Zoom and Jeff's doing that today. So thank you Jeff and the Hollahans and I want to recognize Lori Savoy and the Hollahans who are on the board of directors who are here with Elizabeth and this is where my heart is, is with this group. And gosh, I, as all this reading was being done, I was hearing the chatter. I was hearing the kids coming in, not coming in because they'd been, of course, with me because they're with you all morning. But it's literally like a noise that's in the background that's the most beautiful, uplifting. Imagine, and I don't know why I'm being brought to this right now, but I want you to imagine a commencement address and all the children before they walk out ooh i know this has meaning to someone here because i'm feeling very emotional the commencement address before they walk out and take the stage and take their diplomas oh my gosh here they go already okay i gotta gather myself so i'm gonna bring some levity first this is called a bug bite thingy i I'm so allergic to mosquitoes and truly this little silly plastic sucky thingy works. Well, last night I got a mosquito bite right on my chin and I was like, oh my God, I can't stand it. I can't scrape. So I gave myself a little hickey. <laughs> That's what this is right here. So don't think Rick cold cocked me or anything like that. I literally, and I said, I can't believe I did that before I'm working in front of all these people. So now that I've got that out of the way, that's what this circle is on my chin. And, um, you know, I talked to the kids, and usually um, it's called a, a inspirational speaking that I was taught when I mentored with the beautiful Mavis Patilla um, that we do before the reading start. And it's, it's sort of to get us all on the same page of thinking of our kids in spirit and what they wanted me to talk about today interestingly enough is our guides and it was a couple years after Michael and Anthony both crossed before I really needed wanted anything to do with my guides because it was only my children I wanted to hear from all the time and I thought guide schmide you know I just want my kids and yet once I recognized I can fully have both and that my guides will help me connect to my children, I was all in for this. And I was, I was truly, once I recognized the name of my guide, and not only one guide, but many guides who are with us when we're born and stay with us through our lifetime, and some co come and some go, and in some instances, your children may become your guides. Um, mine are my inspirers. My children are my inspirers. I do everything for them and everything in their name, just as I know you all do for you. There's so many people here who take a step into being um, spiritual stars for people and the shining lights. They just said, shining lights, Lisa. I'm like, oh, yeah, duh, spiritual shining lights out there letting other people know that we truly can experience this dark night of the soul and and be joyful and walk forward with whatever our path is on this journey that is what we were supposed to step into i see so many of you out here who are doing just that who are taking other people's hand behind and leading them forward and i also know this room is full of people whose children have just crossed and who don't understand all this yet. And it's for you that we're all here. It's for you that we all want to say, the fact that you're in this room, the fact that you heard the words helping parents heal, however you heard those words, means that your child has connected with you, 100%. Because this is somewhat of a movement. It's somewhat of a wave that, you know, thanks to the amazing Chelsea and Morgan, 
Boisson and Brandon Ireland and Devin Hollihan and Garrett Savoy and Sean Quigley and so many amazing, amazing children that are bringing this awareness that we don't die and our children are so very alive. And I can stand here with both of my children in spirit and tell you that. Now it's interesting because I wasn't going to mention this. I'm stepping outside of medium into mom for a second. I had <clears throat> the most amazing dream visit two nights ago. And Anthony was right in front of me. And I talked to him and I saw his mannerisms and I heard his voice. And I, it was the most incredible, beautiful thing. In 11 years, it's my third dream visit. It was so very, very real. And it brought me to that point of really missing the physical presence. You know, I know that's what we want is their physical presence. And yet, I wouldn't trade it for a second. I got those words from beautiful Christy in the back. I wouldn't have traded that for a second because when I analyze what he told me, it's like he just gave me a roadmap. He just gave me a download in a dream that seemed like it lasted forever um, in what he was wearing, in the words he chose to use, in the, the place he presented himself. And I want to invite all of you to recognize this. I want to invite all of you to recognize our children come to us in so many incredible ways. If you start hearing and seeing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, no, what, what am I supposed to pay attention to here? And if you do become incredibly overwhelmingly emotional, as I just did, that's called clairsentience. Okay, now I'm stepping back into medium. That is your clairsentience being activated by your loved ones in spirit. So please, I'm sorry, I'm turning back over to you guys because I really want you to hear and understand this as well. Please understand that this truly is our children and it truly is not only our children but our guides and, and our ancestors and those that our children are around. Um, and one last thing before, because I know, I know we all want to hear from the kids, and believe me, they're here. But one last thing I want to say is it has been proven to so many of us so many times with evidence that our children are together. It's unbelievable. There's no, absolutely no denying the things that happen. As Elizabeth said, I'm a caring listener. Um, last weekend I got a call. I was with Christy. Her daughter's name is Tessa, Tess. And we were with Christy at the Art for the Heart where we were all painting hearts. Okay, so I got home. I got a call from a caring listener. This woman said, Lisa, I'm in Ohio. My name is Tiffany. My daughter's name is Tess. She was an art student. And I said, hold on, please. Let me connect you. I felt like I was a telephone operator because she said, I don't know why I was drawn to call you, but I knew she needed to talk to Christy. And there's, there was just absolutely no, no mistaking that whatsoever. The Hollihans, I was told to put them together with the Hopes, who, who John and Karen Hope, John and I worked together for years at American Airlines. And I won't tell you what a big wick he was, but he was. Um, <laughs> And I, the, the, you know, they've developed this beautiful friendship. And please know that whoever you're drawn to, the Garretts, come on, the Garretts, really? <laughs> and now they're best friends. Both of their sons are named Garrett. So know that however you got here, your child brought you here, and you're already connected. You're already 100% connected. So let's go to um, the amazing connections that they want to bring to you now. And oh my goodness, I don't know why, but I'm really being drawn to, um, as I woke this morning, the first thing I saw, and I had invited you know the kids to go ahead and, and commune with me um, throughout the morning. The first thing I saw was two dogs. I believe you have these two dogs now. 
I believe these dogs to be Labrador retrievers. I was seeing two Labrador retrievers and I was seeing these two dogs looking up at you like you have their full and complete attention. Um, and I know that I want to talk about there's something having to do with a chain link fence. I'm seeing a chain link fence and I feel as if they're talking about a fence needs to be looked at or, or put up. Or, and I know one of you here would understand this. One of you would, here would understand the two Labrador Retrievers. I'm seeing um, a chain link fence and actually I'm seeing, I feel as if um, I'm being drawn to seeing like a flower bush, like a rose bush that's growing through this chain link fence. I know one of you here would understand this and if the dogs are not here in the physical, I know these dogs would be in spirit and it's your child showing me these dogs that he is with these two dogs. And I know also the name Barbara. I know I'm hearing the name Barbara. I feel like Barbara is someone in the family that they want to recognize. And uh, let's see, I'm also looking at you guys over here on the Zoom because our kids know who all is here. So maybe Jeff can look at the comments and see. Um, okay, okay, he's, he's good on this. And I know I also want to talk about dad. I'm here, I feel like dad is in the room. Hi dad, hi dad, hi dad. Okay, who here understands the two dogs? There's a chain link fence that they want to recognize. I almost feel like I'm somewhere up north. I feel like I'm somewhere up north and nobody is understanding this right now so let me keep going a minute um so i got a, an input online from uh, a barbara mcnutt uh, oh. a, a barbara okay okay good hi barbara hi barbara okay so thank you very much and i just want to say that i know I know these flowers are for you, okay? I really feel like these flowers that are growing around this, this chain link fence, um, it's, I, I almost feel as if, I, I almost feel as if, oh, hi, Barbara. She can talk to me. Hi. Okay, great. I'm great, how are you? Good, I can't see you anymore. Uh-oh, uh where'd I go? Oh, maybe because, well, you're just gonna have to listen to me. Um, I'm not sure what view we have there, but that's okay. Thank you for coming, thank you for being here. And I'll just tell you right now, I know your child really, really wanted to connect with you. So I wanna say that. I know there's a birthday, I'm hearing happy birthday. Okay, so I know there would be a birthday around now that they wanna acknowledge. And I'm, do you understand that? Yeah, the sister. Oh, yay, okay, that's awesome. Well, there we go. It's her 40th birthday today. His sister, he, he, she's well, saying. Three days. Three, days. three days. That's beautiful. I love that he's come through so clearly. And he's showing me the, cutting one of those flowers for her, okay? I'm seeing cutting one of those flowers for her. And he's also telling me, he's like, Mom, you knew I wasn't going anywhere, okay? I really need to tell you that, all right? I know you feel him around you. And I also feel as if, um, now would you understand him wanting to talk about, I feel like there was an, an heirloom gun that was to be handed down to him. Do you understand the gun? Oh my God, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, because he's talking to me about, he's like, you know what, that's okay, that's okay. Um, so, uh, he just wants to acknowledge it as evidence. He's not telling me what he wants you to do with it or anything like that. He's just acknowledging it. And he's also talking to me about, I know there's a bracelet as well, okay? He loves the bracelet, okay? Do you understand this? And um, I know you have a new hairdo too because he loves the new hair is what he's telling me, okay? That's so beautiful. Thank you so very much for letting him come, you know, for inviting him to come today and for the beautiful happy birthday for his sister. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, bye Barbara, thank you. thank you. Oh, that's so beautiful, I love that, I love that. That reminds me of a story, hold on Elizabeth. Oh, well, never mind. 
my jumper just came untied, but I'm fine. <laughs> it's not going to fall off. Rick and I had this whole conversation about what a jumper is. So um, he saw a, car, a meme, and I won't go into it, but he said, I don't understand this, and I explained it to him. It's like, this is why women don't wear jumpers. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yes? Does that make sense with the flower storm chart? Yes. Oh, that's a beautiful flower. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love, and this is what our kids do. She said, for those of you who didn't hear online, she said the chain link fence that has the flowers growing through is on her father's property. And this proves my point that our children are together. They know this. They know it's impossible for me to get to every single one of you here in this room. And so what they can do is just like if we go to a cocktail party, Rick's going to be around the people that want to talk about the Cardinals football team. Okay, that's, that's who he's going to gather around or whatever it is. Our children do this as well. They know the similarities. They come together so that we can all feel their presence. And that's beautiful. So please know, absolutely, that was for Barbara. And that's absolutely for you as well, okay? I really, I really know this. Um, would you understand, do you have, is your, it's your son in spirit? No. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a man with new hiking boots. Do you understand who the man with new hiking boots is? New boots? Yes, okay, am I with you? Okay. I, okay, I, okay, it's right, okay, because I know I'm right here, so I know I know he's talking, it's Braden, yes? He's talking about literally new hiking boots. Both of you, he's telling me, both of you with the new hiking boots. I love that. And I love you, Mom. Oh my gosh, I love you, Mom. I know Mother's Day was hard, he's telling me. Ooh, it's so hard for me to not get emotional. And I can't, I'm the medium, but you know, I just feel them so clearly. He says, Mom, I know Mother's Day was so hard for you. I know he sent you a butterfly. So you have to remember the butterfly, and if you don't remember it now, go back and think about it. He's showing it to me very clearly, okay, the butterfly. And he's also talking to me about um, uh, sizing things up. I don't quite understand what that means, that my mom's been sizing things up. You'll understand what it means. I don't need to know. She's nodding her head, okay? He's just acknowledging to you that he knows you're sizing things up. Um, and he says, Mom, you're not being careless. You're being carefree, and I want you to be carefree, Mom. That's so important, okay? Ooh, I just got just the best goosebumps all around this. Um, he loves all your friends, and I'm honored to be one of them, so thank you for that message. We love her, too. And... Um, who is Susan? Susan? I may have shifted. Okay. Do you know a Susan? Yes. Okay, because he's, he's acknowledging Susan. Okay, he's wanting to acknowledge Susan. And I feel as if he's talking to me about um, Tad? Tad? A Tad or a Thad? Tabby. Tabby. Okay, okay, so you know what this is. And uh, let's see. Gosh, oh, what else, what else, what else? Mom, I just, he's, he wants you out in nature, okay? So this trip you're taking, take it all in. And you know what I know now that when I was driving here and I was seeing tree huggers, this was for you. <laughs> Literally, and it's not, it's not just for her, it's for everyone. And when I say tree huggers, I'm not meaning environmentalists, I'm meaning our children want us, and I'm not joking, to literally physically go sit with the tree, hug the tree, put your back to, put your spine to the tree, put your bare feet on the ground where the tree is, because we gather ions from these. My friend back there, Joanne, gave me an ionic foot bath this weekend in Sedona. I've never had anything like it before. It was really icky, but we won't go there. But it's about ions, and it's about the torus and our field of energy that goes up our spine and our kundalini and activating that because it pulls. It pulls them into us. 
And so please go with that, okay? Do the woo-woo stuff, people, because you know what you're going to find out? It's not woo-woo. It's truly not woo-woo. You're going to find yourself absolutely astonished by how you feel and what, what comes to you as you're experiencing these things. Um, I really feel like I'm being, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really feel like I'm being pulled over here. Um, okay, well, actually, I know I just heard Jessica, so hold on. Is there a Jessica over here as well? Okay. My daughter in law's Jessica. Your daughter in law's Jessica? Okay. Okay, and you're Susan. Sandra, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me tell me where Jessica is going. Okay, I know I'm being drawn to that baby that you showed us when we walked in. Okay, and I know I'm seeing a shamrock. Okay, so literally like a lucky shamrock for this baby right now. And I know I'm being told that um, is that would this be my brother's baby? Do you understand that? My Okay, because I'm hearing about my brother. I'm hearing about my brother. So, um, okay, hold on, hold on. Um, I know I'm hearing when the saints go marching in, the song when the saints go marching in, which takes me, uh, that takes me in my conscious mind to New Orleans, unless that has a different meaning for you. Do you understand that, Sandra? Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, good. She understands that, everyone on camera. I know you can't hear them. Um, otherwise, it sounds like I'm just gibber jawing over here. Uh, let's see. Okay, what else? I really also feel like I know I'm sending love to Charles, okay? I really feel like, I, I really feel as if I'm hearing he needs a boost. Do you understand that? Like he needs a boost. So you need to know, and I know th this is both, from the other side okay are literally sending a boost to him and I know you recently got some exciting news in the mail okay I'm, I'm being shown you opening something and it was like yes finally do you understand this if you don't you will if you don't you will okay I know you're going to receive some correspondence and I truly feel like this is going to come completely out of the blue okay and it's going to be an accolade it's going to be something for Charles it's going to be an accolade and I know he has I mean he's just such an incredible man he he's had so much service you guys should talk to Sandra he's incredible he's usually here with us um, so just know when he receives that that they already knew about it on the other side in fact I feel like they activated it is what they're telling me okay Thank you so much, and congratulations on the new little one. Uh, let's see. Now I'm here. I'll get back to you, Jessica. Okay, don't worry, because I know Jessica's son, Jordan, and he never, he, he never fails to, to communicate. So if he doesn't come through during this, I'll see you right after. Um, but I know he wanted to say hi, Mom. I know I'm also, okay, tell me that again. I'm hearing about Sarah right now, a Sarah, okay? Who understands Sarah? You go, okay, give me more than Sarah. Um, Sarah, I'm seeing playing a flute. I know there would be a Sarah, either a Sarah in the family. I'm seeing, and I'm seeing someone playing a, this is either a, that's not a flute, Lisa, that's a clarinet, they're telling me, okay. <laughs> I'm so bad. So they're playing a clarinet, and I know I'm hearing, this is someone's sister who played the clarinet. So I have a child in spirit. I know there's someone named Sarah that has something to do with them that's close to them. I just heard cousin. And I know this is a child that, that wants to recognize, I feel sister played the clarinet. Maybe they played the clarinet. Okay, bingo, thank you. So, okay, well, I got it a little confused. Okay, so, tell me, okay, tell me all that again. No, don't tell me any of that again, as long as you understand. There's two Sarahs in the clarinet, so I'm back here, okay? I'm back here. And so you have two children in spirit then? No, well, no, one was my sister. 
One was your sister and one was your daughter. Okay, okay. And I, um, they're telling me absolutely they're together now. Okay, I'm seeing that they're together now. Do you understand that? And I almost feel as if they might be physically together. Like, almost like, you know how if, if you, um, I'm going to use the word, I don't like it, bury people together. But like, to, 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 well, this is what they're showing me. Okay, this is what they're showing me. So in some way, I can't change what they're showing me. I may have misinterpreted it, but that's, that's what they're saying. They're wanting you to know they're together now. They're also talking to me about, um, I know I also want to talk about the hearing aids. Do you understand the hearing aids? Okay, she's just smiling and nodding, so I know she understands the hearing aids. And uh, let's see, again, same as you, not careless, carefree. I'm hearing the song Footloose. I'm seeing the song and the dance. Got to cut loose, Footloose. I cannot sing. My husband's a musician. Jeff's a musician. Don't make me sing, kids. But I'm hearing the song Footloose for you. So see what they want joy for us. Because the more joy we have, the, the, the more they smile and they're together. They, I, I never believed this. Ask Elizabeth. It took me, I saw my dead mother in my closet three days before Anthony crossed. And of course she wasn't dead. So I know this. And yet I sat right where Dana is sitting. Dana's in the green dress in front of Jessica with my iPad at my feet because I didn't know if we were allowed to record. And I just sat here desperate for a reading from a medium 11 years ago, desperate in this room while I was seeing number eights being drawn all over the walls. Number eights being drawn all over the walls. Now, 88 is when Morgan crossed. 88 is when my first son Michael crossed. And of course, eight is the infinity symbol. And I was seeing it everywhere. So those of you who are sitting here thinking, how is she doing this? I want you to know this will open all of us up. It doesn't mean you're all going to go on and be mediums, but it will completely open you to an entirely new reality. And so please hold on to the hope that you can 100% have a relationship with your child and those, those of you who are skeptics, those of you who are dads who may not wonder this, see Rick Wilcoxon sitting in the back over there? Believe me, even he now, you know, he says, I just can't explain what she does. That's what he says. <laughs> so um, feel free to talk to anyone here. Um, I know I'm hearing the name Brandon. Who's, who's, who, that's, I'm with you? Your son is Brandon. Okay, I love that. Okay, let's see. He's here. And of course, it's interesting because he's saying Happy Mother's Day, Mom, again, too. I know someone brought you flowers. Do you understand that? Because he's telling me they were from him. Okay, he made that happen, he's telling me. That was 100% from him. He's also talking to me about, um, would you understand him talking about flying? You understand that? Okay, good. Um, he's showing me a drone, but I almost feel like he's talking about airplanes. So for whatever reason, he's talking about flying. And um, uh, what else, what else, what else? I know he's, he's saying, Mom, you really got to hang it up. And I feel like he's taking me to um, his clothes. Do you understand that? You still have his clothes? Okay, and he really wants you. I know you have something you're thinking of putting in a frame. Okay, he, he's acknowledging that and he really wants that. Okay, he really wants that. And he's telling me none of the rest of it matters. Just, that was important to him. Okay, that was very important to him. And I'm seeing two different things. I'm seeing a jacket and I'm seeing a jersey. So I don't know what it is, but, but that's what he's showing me. Okay. Um, and he's also talking to me about, now the jacket, I feel like you wear the jacket. Do you understand this? Because he's showing me where his jacket frame, frame the jersey. His dad does. Oh, his dad does. And he does have a um, basketball jersey that they hung up at his high school. Oh, 
they already did it. Oh, yay. Oh, they already hung up his jersey. Yay, that's so awesome. I love that. So this is what he's telling me is that none of the rest of it matters, okay? Um, and for whatever reason, they want me to tell you I left Anthony's clothes in his closet for 10 years and then I finally went to donate them and they were ruined. The elastic was, and then I felt bad. So not saying anybody needs to go through anybody's stuff because we all have to do it in our own time and some people never touch it. I'm just saying that was our experience. So, um, but you know, I also know I couldn't have done it sooner. I just, I wasn't in that place. Um, okay, now I'm seeing, I'm seeing a heart rock being put in my hand. That's Janine, okay? Literally, this is how close our kids are together. You understand the heart rock? She also gets heart rocks. That's the thing from Sean. You should see the heart rocks this woman has gathered at the entryway of her home. And it's not, on, not only heart rocks her dog pees hearts. It's literally, <laughs> it, ask her to see the pictures, okay? So they can do amazing things. But I know I'm seeing there's a new, oh my gosh, I just got it. Oh my gosh, there's a new heart. Yes, that would be Ted. Um, that's another huge sign. Look for them. They're not platitudes that you're going to find hearts and feathers and coins. Coins are, coins are made of metal. My favorite is copper. Copper is very, a very incredible conductive material. I don't know if I said that right. I sound scientific, don't I? But I always invite all of the people I work with, carry a penny in your pocket. You've got that copper, you've got that piece of conduction. And whether it's big enough to actually conduct energy, please know that just feeling it and touching it is going to remind you, oh yeah, I'm connected with our kids. Is it time, Elizabeth? No, not at all. Okay. I want to take some pictures. Okay, I have to take a drink of water here. Um, I love the brand, yes. Oh, there's another Brandon. That's beautiful. And they probably understand most of that as well. I think that's really beautiful. Again, going to that our kids know this. Our kids know and they come together. Okay, I'm, now I'm hearing the Shans, the Shans, the Shans. Quigleys meet the Hopes. Hopes meet the Quigleys. So, Janine and Jack are now in this circle, just letting you guys know, in this circle, of it, it's now six. Janine and Jack's son is Sean. They live in Flagstaff. You're all going to be great friends. Our kids are telling me this. Um, I think that's amazing. And now, thank you, thank you, and I'll tell you later um, something, okay? Thank you, Janine. And now I know I'm being drawn to Sean's over here. I know he's standing right by you. I know for whatever reason he's giving me a foam finger. I don't know why with the foam finger, um, but truly I feel like, I don't know if he was ever around baseball, but I feel as if he's wanting to acknowledge something around baseball. He's taking me to his sister, okay? So I don't understand where this goes, but I know he's, te he's telling me number one fan, is your grandchild a girl? boy it's the it's that's where he is with this whole baseball imagery okay is with his nephew okay so i just need you to know this i really feel like it's going to be like a i'm cheering him on thing so watch out because i'm seeing this little one playing t-ball all kinds of things like that i also know now, would you understand, of course, John, we talked about your shirt, but he's also showing me handing the guitar to the baby, okay? Literally, he's showing me that, and, and I know all of these dads understand the guitars over here. Um, and he's giving me the word lifeline, that you are his lifeline, okay? And let me ask him for more with that. Um, he's also wanting to talk to me. He's showing me a road trip. I don't know if you have a road trip planned, but I feel like this is like a really cool car that he would have loved. And he's showing me the two of you going on a road trip. Do you understand this or has this already happened? You understand this? Okay. 
okay, he wants to acknowledge that. And, and again, with the lifeline, um, he's talking to me about, he's talking to me about, okay, he's with dad here. Dad, you know how close we were. And my whole body just, he's like, dad, you knew me better than I knew myself. So don't ever doubt yourself. Okay. Don't ever doubt yourself. And he's telling me, um, He's giving me the feeling, John, and, and I, I can't change it, but he's given me the feeling like things have been a little tough lately. Like he's showing me you getting up on the side of the bed and just kind of looking down at your feet and like, I can, I can do this. I can, I can do this. Okay. And so with that, he's like showing me pushing you up. You know what, dad? keep going keep going do for me everything you told me okay you were my best support and now i'm on the other side of the fence doing it for you okay so he saw that he wants to acknowledge that and really he's showing me your heart just lightening already okay so thank you for allowing me to deliver that because you know i love you you know i love you very much um and uh, again, you know, they're taking me to this mission statement, this line. It's like literally flying off the page to me. We hope the participants will learn from and share with each other. And that is one of the most important lines on this mission statement, according to the kids right now is that all of you learn from and share with each other because that's the magic. I sat with Lori Savoy for a year, magic, um, in, in learning and knowing we're connecting with our children. She said to me, Lisa, your boys are showing me, she said, this sounds so crazy. They're showing me a toilet seat around your neck and what was the other thing? A toilet seat around your neck and a football in your hand. And I just looked at her and I was like, oh my God, Lori, I can't believe they told you that. Rick and I took a tour. We spread a minuscule amount of Anthony's ashes at every NFL stadium. So Rick would never have to watch a football game without him. When we went to Denver, we had to change planes. And I ran through the airport with one of those toilet seat covers tucked <laughs> in my tucked in the back of my pants. I didn't know it until I was scooting into my airplane seat and I heard this rustle and I was like, oh my God, I was so embarrassed. But my boys saw that and they couldn't help but tease me about that. So no, there's lightheartedness. No, know that once you dare to take that step from oh my God, how am I going to survive this? To step across the line into the magic, truly into the magic, that's where it's all going to begin for you. That's where you're going to be able to connect with your children, okay? Um, uh, do I have time to do, what time is it? Let's, Let's see. Oh, oh, good, I have lots of time. Okay, good, because I really feel like I want to go over here. Um, I'm, fi I'm just so drawn to you in the yellow and white striped shirt, okay? I'm very, very drawn to you over there. Do you know or understand someone with the name of David? Do you have someone in your family with the name of David? Or Scott? David or Scott? Or would you understand friends with these names? Friends. You understand the friends. Okay, good. Thank you, because I know I'm over here, okay? I really know I'm over here with you. And I want to talk about, um, I'm, what is that I'm seeing? Would you understand, was there something with the brain with your child? Okay. Um, I don't know how to explain this, but, but I just know my first husband um, did EEG stuff. And I'm seeing like an EEG lead, which is kind of like things, like if someone maybe had a seizure, I don't know why, but I'm seeing this. So, um, okay, I'm next. Okay, well, that's okay. Hold on, because I, I may need to tighten this link up here. I may have both of them here. Okay. Barbara from Virginia, you just reached out and said her husband's name is David Scott. Her husband is David Scott. Okay, interesting. 
Again, they're all together. They're all together. Hold on. Let me ask Barbara. I'll, I'll get right back to you. Barbara, do you understand the EEG lead or something with the brain in a seizure with your husband or, or with your son? I guess it was your son. Okay, okay. My husband's name is David Scott. Okay, well, for some reason, you're connected to these two women here in Arizona, so um, I hope you're coming to the conference because <laughs> you, you guys need to meet up. Um, let me see. Thank you so much. And I'm not joking when I say this. It's just like in the beginning when I talked about the Tessas and now the Shans and all the amazing miracles that happen in the Garrett's. Um, Okay, I really very much feel like, would you understand, um, whose son is this in spirit? Your son, okay. Her brother, okay. I'm sorry, but I'm hearing it was an accident, it was an accident, it was an accident. Okay? Okay? You need to know that, okay? I know you're mad at me. I know you're so mad at me. It was an accident. You didn't do this, okay? Nothing that you did caused this. I, I very much feel, okay, hold on a second. Um, I'm going to talk to you after the meeting, okay, because I know there's some personal stuff here, okay? But I also want to say I want to talk about, um, you know those, those friendship things? It's usually something that you give like your best friend when you're 12, the two hearts, and one of you takes one and the other one takes the other. This is what I'm being shown, okay? So I know I want to acknowledge we were best friends, okay? We were best friends, all right? And I know I took a piece of your heart and you have a piece of my heart and together we'll always be connected. They're literally showing me like those two, you know, like the wood burning chips, like you get them like at state fairs and stuff and they, they're keychains and they go together. This is what I'm being seen, uh, being shown for you. I know I also want to talk about, um, are you bougie? <laughs> Oh my God, I'm hearing so bougie. <laughs> I love hearing the laughter. I truly, truly do. Um, I, I know I also, I have to tell you, I also have a dog here in spirit with you, okay? Okay? And you, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure you still have the dog tag, the tag, okay? I'm seeing you still have the tag. And they're fine together, okay? They're completely together. They're having a good time. Um, I know I want to talk about the Rolling Stones, okay? So know that when you hear this music from the Rolling Stones, that's going to be a connection for you. And, um, oh, my gosh, let's see what else. Now I'm, now, now I'm going to you, Mom, because I'm here and I can't tell you how many times you keep saying, my baby, my baby, my baby, I'm not a baby anymore, okay? I'm not a baby anymore. So know that um, this is your son. Yes. Know that he's with you. He's talking to me about, um, he needs you to know he really was trying to be healthy, okay? That's important. He's showing me like, now this is funny, Okay, I'm going to say it. He's, you know how, um, like you, alfalfa? But he's saying he was even growing his own grass. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> but, but in his own way, he was trying to be healthy, okay? <laughs> so we'll, we'll just leave that alone because they're, you know, our kids are just awesome. They're just awesome. I know he was a free spirit. He was just a free spirit, and he's, he's, he's like, I'm just even freer now, and you need to know that, okay? 
Are you driving his car? No, but we found his car that was missing. Okay, because for, for he's talking about driving his car. Okay. Okay. Um, take that with you. I don't know in what meaning that has to do with. I don't know. You know, when Anthony, in 2016, he would have graduated for, from college, and I bought myself a nice car because I never got to buy him a nice car. And I feel like this is very similar to what he's talking about, okay? This is for his sister. Like, he's wanting you to, to have all the good things that, that you want, okay? And I, I really feel as if he's showing me, like, Hot Wheels cars, Okay, so he's pushing all of this over to you, all right, with all his love. Um, he's also talking to me. He, he's got one more thing he wants to say. Um, <laughs> thank you for being the brother I never had is what he said. <laughs> thank you so much for letting me work with him and know that he's with you and Please remember all these things I've said. And when you come back next month, I want to hear that you were hugging trees, okay? <laughs> because it really, really, truly does work. Um, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go over here to Jess now. Um, because I know Jordan is being really, really patient. Jess, I don't know what you have planned, but um, I know he's planning on, I feel this is a boogie board, okay? I feel like I'm... I'm going somewhere to the ocean, all right? Um, and I know he wants to talk about, um, hi, Grandma. Oh, he just said, hi, Grandma, okay? And I, I love you, Jess, but he's like, I got to talk to Grandma, okay? He has to talk to Grandma. He's showing me being in your lap, okay? So I know he was your little guy. This is what he's showing me. Um, he's also talking to me about, do you, who's got the little white dog? Where's the little white dog? Okay, because he's got your little white dog, all right? He wants you to know that. And um, now he's giving me the feeling like he, he's saying, Grandma, you were experienced with this. So I feel as if somewhere in your life there was child loss. Do you understand that? Somewhere around this? He's telling me. Okay, well, he's telling me you were experienced with this, okay? And he's talking, he says, no, Lisa, it's about the connection. My grandma is connected, okay? So you need to know you're like me, which you all are, I'll tell you. But he's wanting to acknowledge that, okay? And he's literally showing me, opening up. He's like, my grandma is so giving. I know he loved eating with you, okay? <laughs> It's uh, literally, this was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be with grandma. This is going to be so awesome. Um, and he's telling me you taught him so much, okay? Did you teach him how to bake a cake? <laughs> like make tortillas and stuff like that. You, you, ta you taught him. You taught him that. He loves that. And um, he's telling me you were his guardian angel. Okay, and I know that that's going to be, um, I really feel like, do you understand, do you like pray to the angels? Because he's showing me like St. Michael, St. Christopher, all those angels all around him. Okay, so I know he wants, I, uh, I know he wants to acknowledge that. He's also talking to me about, he's telling me take down that funeral stuff and put up the happy stuff. Okay. Okay, so like I'm not dead. Take that stuff down. Put up the good stuff. That was funny. You guys should have seen them looking at each other. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, thank you so much for, you know, for coming and for bringing Grandma. Thank you, Jordan. Um, okay, he wants to say one more thing. He's talking about a turkey trot. I don't, I feel like this is a, um, I don't even know, something, I don't know what that is, a turkey trot, almost like a walk, 
a walk. Do you understand that? Um, okay, I know, he's, I know he's involved in this, so just pay attention, Jess, okay, in the turkey trot. But I also know as I'm talking about turkey trot, I, I'm hearing Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. So I know somewhere here has some association with Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. Um, and I'm seeing, I'm seeing like a group of people getting together and putting those numbers on, almost like you would, you know, would have gone for those walks um, in honor of this. I'm seeing, I'm hearing, this is Jordan. Oh, well, they just did yeah, one. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know why I heard. I, I, you're probably going to do another. Okay. <laughs> just letting you know, they just did one for drowning prevention because I know 100% I heard Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. So you guys are just going to be like, like going with this stuff. Okay, so that's amazing. Um, Okay, let's see. Oh, as I move over to, um, gosh, I'm going to have to meet with you privately, okay? So just give her my information, all right? Um, okay, let's see, where else? Gosh, I love your children so incredibly much. All of you, all of you over there too. I love everybody. Um, you just can't imagine what this feels like for me to know your evidence proves to me that my boys are with me all the time and I'm not just a wacko because how could I possibly know this stuff? How would I possibly know this stuff? That's why I know 100% how real it is. Um, Let's see, I'm hearing now, it, wow, they are really good because they just took me, these words fly off this page, they just took me to the words that say, and encourage open dialogue. So I know that's where Elizabeth picks up oh. again, <laughs> and, we br and it's exactly two o'clock, they are amazing. And this is where she will um, instruct us further. I love you all, I can't thank you enough for coming. If your child didn't come through today, and this is for everyone online too, please, if you struggle getting a reading, if you can't afford a reading, um, email me because I work for Helping Parents Heal. This is my job. This is my mission. Um, this is where my heart is. I, of course, I invite everyone um, to do this, but I just want you all to know how dedicated I am because lifesaver right here <laughs> and believe me believe me i wanted none of her happiness and cheerfulness and our kids are happy and i didn't want any part of that and now look at us and and it was the kids that did it and elizabeth will be the first to tell you that so i'm truly honored i'm truly grateful and i love each and every one of you and most of all your kids so thank you oh thank you that was absolutely amazing <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love you so much. I love you too. So, the kids say it's time. And what we do is we break into groups. And we have so many fun people here today.